Hi everyone, this is Louisa, the Eat Right Chef. Today I am going to share with you the surprises that I got when I first embarked on the blood type diet journey about eight years ago. As I mentioned in my last video, which is about what I had to do in order to be compliant with the diet, I told you that I had to make a switch in the main types of food that I ate. So I incorporated a lot of high quality animal proteins such as grass fed beef and wild caught fish, uh, free range poultry, and a lot of vegetables. And I eliminated a bunch of food that I used to eat a lot such as wheat, corn, soy, sugar, etc. So as a result of the switch that I made, in order to feed my body what it truly needs and can assimilate, I started to um, reap a lot of amazing health benefits. So let me tell you some of the benefits, and there are quite a few. So first of all, I noticed that I wake up feeling truly refreshed. I don't need to drink coffee anymore and um, toward the middle of the afternoon I used to have a midday lull like many of you um, and I don't feel that drowsiness anymore even after lunch. I used to have um, very frequent cold sore and sore throat and a lot of mucus and um, I had just really a lot of digestive problems such as stomach ache, bloating, and constipation. But not anymore, not even farting. And I used to think growing up in a Chinese household that that's really normal because everybody farts and you know with a foul smell but you know I still fart but it's without the foul smell and that is a sign that my digestion is going really well. Besides the digestion I also um, noticed that I don't have um, the frequent headaches and migraine that I used to have and then my skin really clears up and I don't have breakouts anymore in my skin and when it happens, which is very rare, I would almost always be able to um, tell what food I've eaten the day before or a couple of days ago that had led to that. And I've noticed that um, when I go to restaurants, which is kind of seldom, but when I do, I don't have to fear, you know, vomiting or suddenly passing out. Um, because I know what exactly causes those embarrassing moments. Um, it's the dairy products, the cheese and the creams and paired with white wine and beer which are all avoids for my blood type which is O. Um, besides that there is also um, a big problem that I've gotten rid of which is seasonal allergy. I used to have really terrible seasonal allergies that put me out for two entire months out of a year but I don't have that anymore and it's just such a relief. I also don't have cold hands and feet anymore and that I attribute to a healthier thyroid by eating right and avoiding uh, some of the foods that um, actually weaken the thyroid including surprisingly cabbage and eating more thyroid promoting foods such as seaweeds and when the flu season comes I also find myself having fewer flus and colds uh, even though I'm exposed to the virus that's a sign that my immune system has become much stronger after switching to the right diet. 
Initially, I thought that switching to beef would be difficult because I really didn't like the taste of it. But I realized that um, grass-fed beef actually tastes very different than conventionally raised and feedlot beef, which tastes and smells awful. I actually started to crave for grass-fed beef and lamb and it tastes so much better now that leads to another pleasant surprise i realized that eating grass-fed beef actually helps me to lose weight yes indeed um, i have been able to burn fat effortlessly and maintain a healthy weight thanks to eating grass-fed beef well, if you want to know how that is even possible, check out my earlier video, which is an open box video about the butcher box, where I talk about um, the mechanisms um, that happen inside our body when you eat grass-fed beef. Well, provided you are uh, type O and B, okay? Now, um, the next big surprise Actually, this was um, not a pleasant surprise, but I want to mention it because um, I feel that a lot of you who are into healthy eating might want to know. Well, I realize that a lot of the food that are considered superfoods by the health eating community actually are avoids for most blood types and these foods include avocados, coconut oil, cashews, and brazil nuts among others. Well my next surprise is a super pleasant one. As a sweet tooth I used to love desserts and I still do but um, I realized that okay I can't have dairy or wheat so that rules out a lot of desserts out there but um, the nice surprise is that I can still have some desserts and not gain any weight so I can enjoy for example dark chocolate every day and occasionally I can enjoy some gluten-free and dairy-free bakeries as long as they don't contain ingredients that are a voice for me. Some of the sweeteners such as um, coconut sugar or agave syrup are actually okay for me and I use them sparingly. And since I have started to eat a lot more meat and fish and vegetables, my cravings for sweet and starchy food actually have lessened. Another great surprise for me is that I used to think that alcohol and I don't belong to each other. Now being an Asian, I was told that we don't have the liver enzyme to process alcohol, which is true, but you know, um, since I have started this diet, my liver actually cleaned up and um, I have been able to enjoy a small glass of red wine from time to time, red wine being a neutral beverage for type O. So that was a really nice surprise. So these are some of the most prominent surprises that I got when I switched over to the blood type diet. And these changes are physical, but I also noticed that I benefited from the diet emotionally and mentally. Why is that? Well, I used to get really cranky and very easily as soon as I get hungry and my blood sugar level drops quickly and, and then I would, you know, fill myself up with lots of cakes and cookies and biscuits and sweet stuff. And that in turn spikes up my blood sugar level and then crashes it afterwards. So then I got more irritated and you know just that 
drove myself and others crazy and you probably have the same experience but after I have increased the amount of uh, protein and vegetables in my diet it sort of helps me to feel satiated for a much longer time so I don't get the blood sugar crashes and my mood is much more stable so I don't get cranky as easily now of course um, eating right helps with the mood and but that's not the only thing and um, in order to achieve emotional well-being there are many many factors which I hope to go into in the future so now you have listened to all the benefits that I have reaped by uh, following the blood type diet you might be curious or maybe you have already tried the blood type diet in which case I would really love to know your experience how have you benefited from it please leave a comment below share with everyone how you have benefited or if you have any questions feel free to leave them as well next time I'm going to talk about the obstacles that I encountered and some of the challenges of following the blood type diet so stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my newsletter on eatrightwithluisa.com. See you next time. Bye.